Hi, welcome to me. It's about 10 a.m. on July 5th. Started having um, some pretty like serious symptoms regarding some stuff I was talked about in my last vlog. And then it really escalated last night. At about five o'clock in the morning, our power went out and it, they didn't, it didn't come back until about 8 a.m. And during that time without power, I was dealing with some extremely unpleasant scenarios. So I have IOP today and I did order um, a Walmart delivery because um, for noon, because I need my doll. I'm dying, honestly. Uh, Okay, not literally dying, but you get, like, that's what it feels like right now. I did want to, um, try this, because I need to eat something, and, um, even though I, I just, I don't really want to eat anything right now, but, um, I love strawberry and pineapple. I tried, I think it's like the, it was like a mixed berry one or something, and I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm really sold on brown rice protein which is what this is um i mentioned in my last video how I, I can't have things with whey protein i've never really found a product that i can eat without um immediately spitting it out i like to get pouch foods like this they help me in terms of finding foods that are like consistent i get the apple ghost squeeze pouches like basically the applesauce pouches um, I really like those a lot. I'm trying to find, like, the smoothie pouches of those. I'm struggling to talk, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm really on a struggle bus. I, if you saw my last vlog, you saw the day I had. And then um, I did, like, a long stream um, uh, with a reaction channel. And then I was just up and couldn't sleep because of all this that I'm dealing with in my life right now. So... I was expecting it to be a little sweeter, but it's good. This is better than the other one for sure. Yeah, it's no added sugars. It's just the sugars from the fruit. Mmm. I think I'm going to repurchase this one. I really like this, this flavor. Like, a lot. Hell yeah. But I'll do a haul of my walmart order um i'll be looking like this but <laughs> hi guys i got a walmart delivery haul for y'all i honestly ordered this for one reason i needed my doll i got other stuff on top of it too because i forgot ham at aldi's so i got some deli ham just like the honey ham from walmart and um this is one of my favorite things, and I, I was thinking about things that would make me feel better and happier. This is one of them. Um, so I got a big-ass jug of it because I feel like shit. And um, I really like fruit. I really enjoy fruit. And this is glorified apple juice. Let's keep it 100. Um, but I love it. So there you go. And then here we go. This is the uh solution to my problems yep they're both in here cool awesome uh yeah <laughs> i don't need to show that on here in full but um this is also a part of that scenario um i'm gonna wait till i eat real food first but um i paid way too much for this <laughs> um i'm actually mortified at the price but i like i remember when these bags were like three dollars they're like this. I paid almost eight dollars for this, um, but I wanted chocolate and I wanted good chocolate, so I'll probably just have a couple pieces and hold off from there. Um, Cause I again, I don't want to make myself feel sick. I've really been struggling to, um, with how I've been feeling and super nauseous and stuff. There's probably a lot of bag noise. I'm sorry. I'll be better about this when I don't feel like absolute garbage 
And then I didn't get like a full 16 count box, but I really love corn dogs and um, like chicken nuggets. That's definitely a safe food for me. Um, and so I'm, I'm not going to have that because actually the other thing I ordered was um, for right now, I'm going to have the Great Value Rising Crust was it three meat that I got? Yeah, three meat pizza. Um, I really like their um, frozen pizzas. One, because they're $4. And two, they taste good. And I like to um, sprinkle a little bit of extra um, mozzarella on top. Or if I have it, um, especially like the super thinly sliced provolone, I'll just put some slices on top of that just for a little extra cheese. I love cheese. And Walmart actually had, shockingly, a really good price on my favorite soda, which is this. I'm uh, sensitive to caffeine. I used to be a um, cliche two, two liter a day Diet Coke bitch. Uh, nowadays, I just, you know, have soda sometimes. And I've really upped my water intake over the years. Um, I did quit soda at one point entirely for like two years and then I moved back in with my mom <laughs> I had like completely quit soda maybe even longer than two years no I think it was about two years um but uh whenever I'm out on my own again I may venture out on quitting soda again uh the, the today is not that fucking day that's all I know um so I got four of these and um I actually haven't bought this in a hot minute because can we talk about soda prices for a second? Um, they're insane. They've become so expensive. And that's like one another reason I really want to quit is because it's like, you know, a, a needless expense. Just like, you know, if you're like, if you smoke cigarettes or whatever, like it's an expensive habit, right? So soda's becoming so expensive. It's like, is it even worth it? Especially if it's just like, chemicals that make you feel shitty or you know pure syrup <laughs> you know it's like shit and listen i'm drinking it so i'm not saying that from a place of judgment it's just the truth so you know i like it obviously we all have our favorites right but um god i hate when people are like holier than thou with that kind of shit and they're just like you know <laughs> about aspartame and all that like listen i get it <laughs> We're, we all have our vices if it's better than some right anyway um i'm gonna go or i'm still waiting for the pizza the oven to preheat not the pizza to preheat and um i'm gonna make a bagged salad and eat some pizza with it that's that's the move for lunch today um yeah I'm exhausted. I have to do IOP in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to try to get out early and sleep because I'm, I'm not functioning right now very, very at all. Actually, I'm barely alive. So I just wanted to show my Walmart haul since it's like I'm doing a no eat out challenge. So um, I wasn't planning to buy groceries. I mean, all I really got grocery wise was the drinks and the corn dogs and ham and of course the, i count the chocolate as the uh cycle supplies uh <laughs> but um yeah i haven't bought something like that in a hot minute um so i am excited to have some of that lindor truffles my favorite so all right i'm gonna go and make my food Hey guys, um, oh my gosh, a lot has happened since I last did my, my last clip. So I went to IOP, uh, my intensive outpatient program. I asked to go first and I asked if I could leave early because the way that this treatment's set up, it's not like a group therapy. It's more kind of like you, everyone gets individually checked in on and like a good chunk of time to talk and then we just all kind of do it together. And they ask certain check-in questions and essentially it's part of the process that's like necessary to be on a short-term disability process. Um, so like everyone in this group is on short-term disability for 
uh, essentially like psychiatric reasons. And so, um, where we did that, or I did that, I talked about my, my stuff. Um, I, I kind of, and I kind of cried about, <laughs> you know, the pain I've been dealing with and all of that. And then, um, I had eaten before then I got out of there within like four fifty minutes. So she gave me a lot of time to talk, which was nice. And then, um, and then I, I got out and I immediately fell asleep. I had gotten another call while I was sleeping from my great aunt Opal. I mentioned her in one of my previous vlogs, um, when we went over and she gave me a bunch of stuff. And I mentioned the potential of her giving me more. And um, basically the person that had claimed a bunch of stuff isn't able to use it anymore. And so now it's mine. And I'm being gifted like a really, really nice large couch with like, um, I think it's like a whole dining room sets in there. There was a ton of stuff, like a ton of stuff um, for like a whole apartment or whatever. And I'm going to take what I can and um, basically she needs it out as soon as possible because they're about to start renovating. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful um, because that that's, this is saving me thousands. Um, she already provide. I already have like full pots and pan sets. Um, she gave me this gorgeous like china plate set that I, I when I went over to have dinner with her uh, not too long before all this I like complimented this this china set because it's so pretty it's from the 90s she said and it's like got this like rose pattern with a gold trim and I'm not even one that normally loves gold but um it's still it's so pretty that like the gold is still nice to, like really nice to me and like there's some cute decor was was provided and yeah so they may even have more stuff to give me than I saw when I went there because they still had more stuff to go through so this is just something that like it doesn't normally happen in my life and I'm very very excited and thankful and grateful um, I'm very excited um, to go on this venture and yeah that's that's the current update this is what four hours of sleep can do for me <laughs> um I wish I'd slept more I get why my mom called. Um, I don't think she remembered that I had IOP, so she probably thought I'd been sleeping longer than I had been. And um, yeah, wow, this is this is crazy. Hey guys, um, it's July six six p.m. Like it's been an insane day. I filmed like a long chit chat, like update about my like health and stuff. Um just into general well for people on youtube it's gonna be more of like a catching up with what i'm currently going through and dealing with because i'm having a lot of stuff happening and then on top of that i found out today that um i have less than 24 hours to figure out getting a u-haul and people to help move the things that have been gifted because otherwise it's all going to get donated to goodwill and um I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So right now I'm getting ready to heat up some food because I need to like, you know, eat. It's 6 p.m. And all I have five today is like a mango, I think. And um, yeah, what am I doing? Oh. Okay. So I'm trying the thing that I bought in my Aldi shop with me the bulgogi uh korean pulled pork and i'm just keeping it really simple because i'm so stressed out and the pain is making me not hungry um so i have some leftover cauliflower rice that i'm gonna mix with sticky rice and i don't have any like good raw veggies to go with this unfortunately i didn't plan ahead and or cooked veggies and I'm living in, oh, you can't really see it, but I'm living in chaos right now um, because my family is helping prep areas. I am beyond, <laughs> beyond the point of exhaustion and stressed out. So um, this is what I'm doing instead of eating out. Um, you know, I think a lot of people judge foods like this because they don't understand that it's an accessibility thing for people. Um, like people who either maybe have literal disabilities like not literal but like physical disabilities 
or um, with they struggle with like executive dysfunction, pain issues. Um, there's a plethora of reasons. So I'm really excited to try this, honestly. So I'm gonna microwave everything, and um, yeah, I'll check back in. Okay, guys. So I actually just got an interesting phone call. So that was that was interesting regarding like getting a case manager, which I've needed one. But anyway, I don't don't know much more about that. I wanted to just make my plate real quick. Oh, interesting. This is like oh, this is like almost pasty. Uh, the carnitas texture is more like sh like shredded pork. This is very like wet. <laughs> I found some pre-cooked um, bell peppers in the fridge, so I mix those in with the cauliflower. So I'm just going to dump what's left of this bag in here. My mom didn't finish the bag, so I like to mix it in with the regular rice because I don't do any specific, you know, diet plan. And it ma it really makes the cauliflower rice taste like rice when you mix it with any grain rice, honestly. Um, and... It makes it more voluminous and frankly delicious <laughs> and so since this is cauliflower rice i'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning i love flavor god big fan um and i love the bacon lovers it's a vegan seasoning but it's called bacon lovers because it's basically got my favorite things onion and garlic powder salt and pepper it's also got paprika and like smoke flavor and stuff so i just put a little bit on there Mix it all up, and then I'm gonna try this with um, the pork. I love this bamboo fork. I don't know how this texture is, it might be really tasty, but the texture is disturbing me. <laughs> Come on now. damn it that's not good that's not good it's it's low-key giving cat food vibes in terms of texture i was so excited about that too that's so disappointing get the carnitas this is not good If I really like mix it in it's a little bit better but it's definitely edible and uh, it's not like the worst thing I've ever had I would never buy it again and I do not recommend it but anyway uh, I have all of this that I have to eat Whatever. And a little bit more, I think. <laughs> 